All right, this is the 14 foot whipping rod. This is the newest one for the Hawaiian Custom Series. Um, targeted for the Big Island for uh, Hilo and Kona going for that long distance Akuli bombing. 14 feet, guys. Impressive, 14 feet. In this review, I'll be showing Akuma's Hawaiian Custom Series Menpachi Rod, the HWA-S-1402MHA. This is a 14 foot long, fantastic whipping rod that was made for a special order, originally for a well-known tackle shop on the Big Island of Hawaii. For this video, I'll be using my T40X, which was one of my favorite whipping rods to whip for a coolie from the shoreline. So the reason I'm not going to show uh, the 14 footers because I don't want to give up my best areas of night to hunt for a coolie. I don't know. So I'm going to be using uh, my I'm 7 foot 9 T40X, which will still do the job to show you what fishing for a coolie at night looks like. Alrighty, so about five years ago, one of the largest fishing stores in the Big Island uh, requested Okuma to make a 14-foot whipping rod. Whipping like means uh, short casting. And the reason why they wanted a 14-footer is because they wanted to reach uh, where the coolie were offshore. But the, a lot of people who fish on the shoreline can't reach it with uh, your standard uh, seven foot nine to your nine foot nine whipping rods. So they commissioned uh, Okuma to make this beautiful 14 foot rod. Like I, uh, the rod that I have here that was first shown was at a show. It was one of the earlier prototypes. I had a chance to use this rod very successfully. I pulled up quite a few fish off it from barracudas um, to jacks and the intended species which was the uh, macro scads which we call a coolie and these rods are wonderful they work great the only problem was you lack um, accuracy because the length but you make up for it in the sheer distance you get whipping that grub out there I think I now a lot of people make wings. a living going for a coolie now, a coolie has those big eyes on them. As you notice, those eyes are very sensitive to daylight, so to they come again. into the shorelines at night to feed. And the only way we can get out there is by boat or a kayak. But if you can develop a rod long enough to get your uh, desired know. bait or grub out there, then you, it's a winner. So a lot of people, that I've been told a lot of people so have been doing this in Hilo and Kona, which are the deep draft harbors, mm -hmm. that they are um, whipping using this rod, which was com uh, commissioned uh, for this store in the Big Island, for um, I mean, shoreline people to whip their, their rigs out yeah. there to catch a coolie crack. at night. And I was given some pictures yeah, showing um, oh. this one gentleman who goes out on his bicycle from his house um, picks up um, an average of 100 to 200 pounds right. in a tell. night, comes back, no, sells it the next day, goes to sleep during the day, and does it Monster again. So, you know, it, it, it creates a good business for um, people who don't have a job or uh, trying to support their families by going out there and uh, picking up fish at night on their own. They, they become their own uh, boss, own fisherman, because the rod yeah, is doing what yeah. it's supposed to do get oh, your, your baits yeah, out there or get your grubs out there uh, beyond the reach of the average oh. person. I've seen the pictures. Alright, so what kind of size spinning reel would I recommend for this 14th footer? Hmm, okay, I, I, I went from 3,000 um, and the 3,000 was a little bit on the small can side but it can still work. Um, I went with the 6,000 the 6,000 was a little bit on the heavy side and it weighs on you at night uh, whipping a 6,000 all night long. I found the 4,000 was the perfect reel for this job. And on the 4,000, um, I mixed it around. I, I used 
I first started using braid, then floral, and mono. And to me, mono was a bad choice because mono stretches and the rod already gives a lot, but it still worked. Uh, floral, which is floral carbon, was great for keeping the lines no under the surface as floral sinks and it doesn't stretch. So the rod length provided uh, the give that I needed when using floral. The best I thought was braid. Was braid gave me more distance uh, because yes, the line no. is a lot thinner, less air resistance, mm -hmm. and it doesn't matter when you're using braid at night because the fish are not going to see it anyway. And the rod gives enough give on the strikes to set the hook. So, like I said, the thinner diameter means more distance, and you can get more line on the reel by using a thinner line like braid. And I use braid mostly at night now. Um, during the daytime, I do use uh, the clear lines like fluorocarbon and monofilament. But if you're being specific in going for cooling night, I use braid. But you can still use the others if you want to. Okay, after testing the prototype, what were the bad points? Okay, to me, there was only one really bad point. Is I found that because of the 14 foot length, and I... I would say that it wasn't very accurate. If I wanted to hit a certain area, I couldn't hit exactly what I wanted. But now when you use a shorter length, like a 7.9, I could accurately hit the area I wanted. But using a 14 footer, you could not do that. But hey, you know what? This rod was not meant to be an accurate caster. This rod was commissioned and made to be a long distance night casting rod so basically yeah, put you cool. just faced your body your arms cool. and you just put everything you have into the lower butt section to whip that rig out there that's what you want to do you want to get your rig out as far as you can so that was the good point is that you were able to get the distance you needed to get out there beyond what anybody else was using and everybody that was watching me kept asking me what is that rod what is that rod I want a rod like that. Cool. Okay, so what are the stats for this 14 footer? The foregrip is 5 inches long. The recommended line weight 12 to 25 pound test. The recommended uh, lure weight was 1 half to 1 and 3 quarter ounces. For what I found, using a 1 and a quarter ounce uh, lead egg was the best. But, you know, a lot of people, from what I heard on the Big Island, as well as, um, I mean, the Big Island, but in Hilo and Kona Harbors, were going up to two ounces. Even though it's rated only up to one and a half, uh, one and three quarters, the two ounces was getting it out there, and tips were not breaking. And I, I did not realize that you could use two ounces on this one. So I'm going to have to try it again using the two uh, product sections. These are two pieces. This is a 50-50 split, which is really great because a lot of people using this are going on the backs of the bicycles and they love the 50-50 the split. Using the rear line, grip yeah, length is 21 and a half inches. Fire rod length light. total 14 feet How even. Unusual. Rod power is medium heavy. Rod taper is moderate slash moderate fast, so perfect yeah, for the whipping action. Little. No the weight is 16 ounces. Not that bad considering the length um, of the rod to have only 16 ounces for your like total weight. Um, the MSRP varies a little bit. Um, it was, like I said, it was made for the Big yeah, Island of Hawaii. Is. So they got the lion's cool. share of the rods. But a few have, not a few, but quite a few have trickled through the Hawaiian chain right. since then. So don't get me wrong. This was made for distance so you can still use it in areas such as this small little lagoon but what i mean accuracy as you can see there is um opening up the channel on the upper right with a shorter rod you can hit that easy but with this long rod it's fairly hard to do that because you you lack accuracy because of the length of the rod but you can still use it for daytime use to go for barracudas you can um target your jacks or other species that um, that you can either pick up baiting or with grubs or with lures of any type 
This is a multi-purpose rod. Um, still, I would recommend the 4000 even during the day or night. And once in a while, I do take it out and have fun like I am doing here. Thanks a lot, and I'll talk to you later.